Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Smelly Telly. Today we are going to be answering another question from you guys regarding how a 12 string guitar is tuned. Uh, so our original question today is asking when tuning the low E and the high E, uh, is the high E tuned to the higher octave and does that higher octave mean that it's an E sharp? And the answer is no. Uh, and the reason why is because octaves are the same note. So today we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about what an octave is how you can find the octaves, and then how that applies to tuning a 12 string. Uh, but before we jump into that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. It helps me keep making more guitar lesson videos for you. I know uh, Snowshoe here is really enjoying all the support that we've been getting lately, so let's keep it going. Uh, so, and if you want some more goodies, pop over to smellytelly.com. There's more stuff for you there. So let's go ahead and play some guitar. Okay, so first an octave is the same musical letter note, but it's eight whole steps higher. And to find the octave, what we got to do is look at our major scale. And uh, to do that, we're going to look at a standard six string guitar so that you can see the scale and understand where the octaves are. So before we start banging on old 12 here, let's go ahead and grab our six string and learn some music theory. And one, two, three. Now we have our six string. So in Western music, scales are made up of seven notes, which are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And once you reach the G note, that pattern repeats again, starting at A. And while this A is a higher pitch, it's still an A note. So when this pattern starts over and the notes repeat, you can start your numbering again at the number one, or you can start your numbering at eight. And that number eight is important when learning the octave because our Latin root for the word eight is octo, which is where we get words like octagon for an eight-sided shape, octopus for the eight-legged sea creature. Uh, so because our two A notes here that we're talking about are eight places apart, and knowing that octo is Latin for eight, it kind of starts to make sense why musicians began using the word octave to describe two notes that are the same, but eight places apart. So to demonstrate that, let's just play our A major scale starting at the 5th fret of the low E string. And we're going to count each note as we play it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, or 8. So just like we said before, the 1 can either be uh, called the 1 again or an 8. And if you started your scale here, you could call that a 1 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight. It could also be a one if you wanted to start your scale then again. And looking at those ones and eights, you have a one here, the eight's there, and if this was your one, your eight would be here. So an E scale, there's your octave number one, going to octave number two. So two octaves away from the low E. And when tuning a 12 string, what you want to do is tune uh, your low E note to the standard low E. And you're also going to be tuning the higher note that is coupled with that low E to the octave above. So that is your low E on a 12 string guitar. Low, uh, your regular A, then you're going to have a D, then you're going to have a G. You could also play your G here. All right, now get excited because it's time to go grab that 12E and tune it up. One, two, three. Okay, so get your tuner out. Go ahead and look at the very top. We're going to call this string the first string and then the next string the second string. So each uh, note here going down the first pair is going to be one two the next pair will be three four pair after that five six and uh, it's e a d g b e like any other guitar uh, so the top string is an octave of your standard low e it sounds like that and that looks like it's in pretty good tune let's check uh, the low e here And to answer the original question, we are not playing a sharp note. It's, uh, it's uh, just a regular E there. The sharp note would sound like this. 
and that is not what you're looking for. You're looking just for the octave. And remember that the high E here is the octave twice above your low E. Okay, so we tune the low E. Now let's tune the third string here. This is one octave above your standard A. That looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the fourth string. This is a A. That looks pretty good. Now let's play a D. This is the fifth string from the top. That looks pretty good. Let's play a standard D. That looks a little flat here. Okay, that looks good. There's a little wobble in that, but we'll move on. Then we got the G. This is one octave above your standard G, seventh string here. Then play the normal G. Those both look like they're in good tune here. And then we get to the B string, and on the B string it changes. There is no octave on the B string on your 12 string guitar. So both of these notes are the same pitch and the same note. So let's check those. This is the ninth string here. It looks a little flat here, but I think I can get away with it. Let's go to the 10th string. That also looks pretty good. All right, now let's go to the 11th string here. It's a high E and no octave for the high E either. Just like the B, we're going E on both strings. 11 and 12 are both E. That looks pretty good here. On to the 12th string. You'll notice there I just played both strings at once. It'll happen to you. These are really tightly together. Uh, it just takes a little bit of patience and practice. So that high E is sounding pretty good. And that's it. Now you know a little bit about the notes that make up Western music, a bit about the major scale, a little bit about octaves, and ultimately how to get your 12-string guitar in tune. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you learned something today. If you did like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Take care.